question. Anthony Magnall. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To ask the Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs if she will make a statement on Bosnia and Herzegovina and the potential of a renewed conflict in the Western Balkans. Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. And I thank my honourable friend for his interest in the current situation in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Herzegovina. Uh, and he's right to highlight uh, this situation. The recent political developments are of significant concern to the UK Government. Um, uh, Milorad uh, Dodic, the Bosnian Serb member of the Presidency, has threatened to withdraw Republika Srpska, uh, uh, the entity, from a range of state institutions. And this is an act which the High Representative calls a de facto secession. This is a dangerous and deliberate attempt to, to distract from the failure to improve standards of living and tackle corruption. It is unacceptable. The UK fully supports the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Bosnia-Herzegovina. Uh, after the devastating conflict of the 90s, uh, the region has lived in peace for 26 years, and the Dayton political system, which should have been used to deliver progress and development for citizens, has been exploited by politicians who are focused on building and maintaining their own position. We recognise the important role that you for peace and, peace and stabilisation forces played and welcome the renewal of its mandate, an important deterrent against those malign actors who wish to see instability on Europe's doorstep. We work hard in the Security Council to ensure that it authorised you for mandate for a further 12 months. The UK continues to play an active role. My uh, right honourable, sorry, my um, uh, honourable friend, uh, the uh, Europe Minister, was in uh, Bosnia Herzegovina in the summer to support this work. The High Representative will visit the UK for meetings in December. The UK is in close contact with him to ensure we are working in cooperation and giving him vocal support, including for the use of executive powers should the situation require it. This is a further check and balance for the destabilising actions in, Bos in Bosnia Herzegovina. The upcoming NATO Foreign Minister's uh, meeting, the Foreign Secretary will push for more focus and resource on Bosnia and Herzegovina and the need to rebuff Russia's actions. The international community also has collective responsibility to ensure there is no return to the conflict of the 1990s. Along with our international partners, we are ensuring the High Representative's position and work is secured, and we will continue to urge Russia to return to productive engagement with the Peace Implementation Council's steering board. Along with our international partners, we are working to tackle the divisive rhetoric and actions from some politicians in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, including the threats to re-establish a Republika Srpska army and to pull out of other established state-level institutions. The UK is committed to helping the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina build a better future in a stable and prosperous state with strong institutions. We support the NATO HQ in Sarajevo, including through the secondment of UK staff officers, who play an important role in building the capacity of the armed forces. And we are providing capacity building and expertise to those, acts, to those actors who demonstrate genuine commitment to progress. Thank you, Mr.